Hi everyone, my name is Peter Schumann-Wari. I work as a technology architect for Accenture, and I'm one of the maintainers of Hyperledger Cactus, which is a blockchain interoperability project. Today I will talk about strategies for inclusivity as an open source project maintainer. First, you want to clarify to yourself why. Number one is, if you were to contribute to another project, you would also want to be included as much as possible. Reason number two is, making your project inclusive will increase the number of contributions you receive and the number of contributors that you receive it from. The larger OSS community size is almost always correlated with higher code quality and, in general, bigger success for your project, so it's kind of a no-brainer. Now let's talk about the how. What you want to make sure is that you create a barrier to entry that's as low as possible. Something that evokes emotions like this people picture from people when they first encounter your project's documentation. Obviously, everything here seems straightforward, gentle, and easy. And then, before you know it, you're down at the beach just having fun. You want to avoid your project feeling more like this picture, which goes without saying it's not a happy outlook for anyone. So, the documentation should cover the whole spectrum from absolute beginners to seasoned veterans. The assumption a lot of experienced people in software development make is that everyone knows the terminal, everyone knows and is an expert in using all the version control systems, the IDEs, the operating systems, the programming languages, etc. With a little extra work, you can update your documentation to provide tiny clues about how these things work and maybe link to you additional documentation that, of course, you should not write yourself. Regarding the topic of pull requests, you want to make sure that all pull requests uh, receive equal attention. What this comes down to is that you should prioritize the reviews based on the order of submission, not some other arbitrary criteria, such as how well do you know the person who submitted the pull request. Also note that the order of merging does not need to match the order of reviews nor the order of submission. There can always be specific technical considerations why a specific pull request can or should be merged in front of another one regardless of what their order of submission was. So you just have to decide this on a case by case basis. But all the points I make here stand in the cases when there's no special reason for deviating from the order of submission principle. Why equal attention to pull requests is so important? It is important because it will make uh, it will make people feel welcome at your project. And it will also specifically put the burden of conflict resolution on those who submitted pull requests later, not earlier. This is important because if you submit a second pull request after a first one, then you are already aware of the existence of the first pull request and therefore you can take uh, much easier preliminary measures to avoid a nasty conflict resolution process. To provide a specific example, this is the timeline of two pull requests submitted where the first one gets merged later despite having been submitted first, causing a conflict that the submitter of the first pull request needs to deal with. Despite them not being aware of the second pull request at the time when they submitted their own, since the second pull request didn't even exist at the time. So instead of this timeline, this example, you want to shoot for something that looks more like this one. Where the first pull request uh, comes in, gets merged and approved first. And then the, the burden of the conflict resolution is on the person 
who made a second pool request. Of course, in an ideal situation, they would have completely avoided uh, that code conflict happening by basing their branch on the branch of the first pull request. The other thing you want to make sure is to provide equal attention to communication channels, meaning that people's queries about the project should be answered in order of submission the same way pull requests are reviewed. So the takeaway here is that this first in first out equal attention principle can and should be generalized to any and all human interactions pertaining to the maintained project. This means that it doesn't matter if uh, it's a chat channel, a mailing list, or uh, GitHub issues, feature proposals, bug reports, pull requests. You should always process these in order of submission and uh, make everyone feel welcome and uh, make everyone feel like uh, contributing to your project is worth their time. And uh, finally, a little shameless plug, if you'd like to join a community of hopefully a mostly inclusive uh, project, please uh, reach out to us at the High Pleasure Cactus community. I've provided links for the chat channel, the GitHub repository, and our wiki page. Thank you very much.